All right, so I said a lot of things on the live, but I had us to delete it because I don't want it to reach where it's not supposed to reach. As I said a lot of things, uh, people that love, I know they may share it, but however, I was asked to do this other one, um, simple, right? Um, I talk about a lot of stuff. I talk about attention, compromising, making sacrifices, and a lot more. But as I go by, I'll just do everything in somewhere. So what I would like to start off with is giving your partner attention. Attention is very important. If you don't give your um, partner attention, trust me, they can get it from someone else or somewhere else. It is very important for you to give your partner attention. And under attention, it is going to come with compromisation. So you have to compromise. Now, if you are in a relationship and you are only going to think about yourself, that's not a relationship. You have to make sacrifices. And I think that's another word that you can use to compromise. Just make sacrifices with each other. You understand me? You have to, if, if for example, understand first that you guys are two different persons. So you have to understand the likes and the dislikes of each other. You understand? One person might like to watch things that you might not like to watch what that person likes to watch. That person might like to do things you might not like what that person is doing, vice versa. You like to do things that that person don't like what you are doing. Um, you understand, so you have to have a form of understanding. After you have that form of understanding about each other, then that's where you will know what to do with this person. You understand me? They will say, all right, then you know what? Be able like to watch so and so and so. So while be able to watch so and so and so, I'm going to try to watch something else or do something else. You can't be selfish. When in a relationship, you cannot be selfish. A lot of people in a relationship and they are very selfish. All them think about is themselves. What is a relationship? A relationship is two persons coming together, not one person. Two persons coming together. Some people only think about themselves. You can't in a relationship and think about themselves. It's not you alone. It is not me or you. It is about us right now. Two of us into the relationship. I cannot only be thinking about myself and you can't be thinking about yourself. You have to compromise. You have to have understanding. Try to understand each other. If you don't understand each other, you don't know, the relationship is not going to go nowhere. You understand? So you have to be understanding. You're not going to know the person right away as they get involved. So it's going to happen over time. And this is why I tell people, say, no matter how long you and somebody get together, still go on date. Partying, going to party. If you go party with the two and the name, the pan shirt, and if you don't eat that, you don't have to go on date. You understand? You can't move a date, beach date. Go on date, talk to each other. If you're in a party, all you have to hear uh, music and whatever. That's a few in time, maybe just want to have fun. But you can't go on date and use party as date. You understand? You can sit down and talk to each other. You don't have to go to a big place to go on a date. And you can't even do it at home. You understand me? Another thing that I talk about is people who love to deny and hide their children. If me go there with somebody and I have to hide my son, it doesn't make no sense. You can't love nobody, uh, love somebody and say you don't love, you know, you know, love your own son or your own daughter. I hate people who hide them children. You have some people out there, people meet them with them little babies. You hear them up and, oh, I'm a nephew, man, I'm a niece, I'm a little cousin. I'm not no gossip. Me not like people who hide them children. Be proud to have your child or your children. Be proud to be a mother. Now hide the picnic. Because at the end of the day, when time your partner gone and your picnic, you go always see. You understand me? And if, if, if your partner cannot love your child or your children, in a minute, sense, they with them neither. Be with somebody who will love and accept your child and children as for them own. You understand me? And respect also goes that way. Also, because you have to have respect for the, for the people. Them. Respect is also very important. You understand? Acceptance of your partner, children. Love them like your own. And men are like people who belittle people. Don't belittle nobody. You understand? When the time you get in my relationship, I'm a builder. I build people physically, mentally, and emotionally. If you're going to with somebody and that person cannot build your inner sense on the day. If you're going to with somebody, you're supposed to, people are supposed to get a loop and say, No, man, how should I put on weight? So should I get fatty, man? If you're with somebody and you're a mother, don't relationship, they're stressing bad. I be a drama that. 
You know, want nobody will stress you out. You want somebody who can make, you know, you look good and progress are going on in your life. You want somebody who can build you, but you can't say, you know, say, since me there is so and so, me, uh, this me have you now. You have to be with somebody who, who want make progress. You don't want nobody who can build you. You don't want nobody who will tear you down. Hmm? And if you're not education in a certain way, the person, your partner, supposed to uplift you, encourage you to go back to school. I encourage you to say no, baby, you can't sit down with two CXC. Come to three CXC, man, and do three more Pandasar, whatever. You need a builder. You need an uplifter. It don't make no sense to be with somebody who will tear you down. That's not healthy. You understand? Sometimes we understand say, yeah, we love, we love. And sometimes we love too much. But look at it this way. The more you love, sometimes, and you love somebody more than all you love yourself. The more you hold on, is the more you hurt yourself. And I'm talking about people who don't appreciate you and accept you for who you are. I'm talking about people who make you feel belittled. If you keep holding on to that person, if for example somebody keep getting up and go out there, go cheat for you. And every minute they come and they say, well, baby, I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry, I never mean it. Every time they go out there and cheat, them hurt you. When you keep holding on, that's the more you're hurting yourself. You have to love yourself enough to say, hey, you know what, I'm going to deserve this. And that's why them say self-love is the best love. If you, if you, if you ever love somebody, you can love yourself first. You know what, you're worth. When you're in a relationship, you don't suffer for less. And that's why me no play side chick or side chicken or whatever I want to be. Me must always be the person to be number one. Me want to be a priority. You understand? Because sometimes you fall in love with people and you, you fall in love so much that you don't, you don't remember your, your words. You forget it. You understand? You have to love yourself enough to let go if somebody has hurt you. Another thing we never talk about. I want me to talk about so I'm going to talk about it now. This Facebook disgrace. When in a relationship, nice and done, the picture I show and video I put up and rare, rare, rare. And as the moment when I break up, so everybody have to know say when I break up because they come on Facebook with an argument and who oh, did big and who oh, never big and who oh, did this and who. Oh. Come on, man. Work out in the thing from WhatsApp, find somebody to talk to, and not just anybody neither. Because some people when I talk to them, they tell us if they left because they don't want to be happy, they don't want to be in a relationship strive because they relationship carry and then can't hold nobody. So they tell us, yes, left him, left her. And sometimes they tell us if they left your partner and then they want your partner, or sometimes they want you, so you have to be careful. But this whole Facebook thing is not relevant. And then sometimes when we do it, come on Facebook with the disgrace, and when you look at it, you want to go back together again. It's not, it's not relevant. Work out on the thing, find somebody to talk to one of so they can trust. Somebody who knows I'm going to go with the best advice. Somebody who's going to say, listen, follow your heart and not your mind. Somebody who's going to tell us, boy, I don't leave The only way me and my would have come out and tell somebody to if leave them, if it's, if, if it's the person, I beat them up. But I said, no, you know, stay in that because you're going to lose your life. You understand me? But don't talk to somebody where you know your relationship is not abusive like that. But you're not having no differences. Because nobody not perfect. So not having no differences. Talk to somebody who you can relate to. And somebody who looking for the best of interest. You understand? But you don't have to be careful. This Facebook thing, I, I hate it so much. Because when you're in a relationship, alright, nobody now see when you not have sex. Nobody now see certain things. So why come on Facebook with it? I don't like it. I don't care when nobody wants to say about me after me and them fall apart. I now come on Facebook come disgrace them. It's not going to make no sense. And it is going to only make me look immature. You understand me? I will leave something I talk about. But I can't talk about it because I don't know how far them videos are going to go. I don't know if people are going to share it. And so I can't touch up everything. But people, it is, un it is very, very important. Attention. Communication. Communication is the key. If you can't communicate, the relationship now will work. If you are not in a relationship, tell each other who likes and who dislike. Another thing, yeah, we want to talk about. Respect, again, be careful of the things that you say to your partner because sometimes when I argue and harsh words do come out. And sometimes those harsh words hurt more than even a cut. Hurt more even than, than, than a gunshot wound. Be careful of what you say to your partner because sometimes you say things that you can't take it back. So be careful when you're upset, try not to say certain things as much as all you're upset. Because I won't have time you're upset, but I have to be careful what you say. Because I don't want to have no regrets. 
So when I argue, be careful of the things that you guys say to each other. Sometimes you say sorry and sorry is not even enough to heal the wound that you, that you put on the person because of what you say. You can forgive, but something you're not going to forget. That will always lodge somewhere up here. So. so be careful of the words that you guys use to each other. Have respect. Not because you're not going to argue. You're going to call your partner a bitch. And you're a pussy hole. And you're this and you're that. Have some form of respect. Argue because you're upset. You know, because you're a human being, you're not going to have any But try to have some, some self-control in it too. You understand me? But the bottom line is, understanding each other love each other no matter where the two want to have as long as you know love each other and love alone sometimes will control you from doing things love alone will prevent you from cheating love alone will prevent you from saying things to your partner that you are going to long regret afterwards you understand me so love each other understand each other respect each other Tell each other who don't like something like this. No matter wait until arguments. Right? And this may never lie about you. Show each other gratitude. Show each other love. Take care of each other. A relationship is a two-way street, not a one-way street. Don't be selfish. Don't think for yourself alone. Think for the two. This may have left it. So we don't know. Take care of yourself and bless you.